And how do you feel about collaborating with the enemy when um, they have carried out such atrocities against um, UK military personnel over the years? I think you have to be very careful using the word enemy. Um, I think people need to understand who the Taliban actually are. And of course, what they are, a disparate collection of tribespeople. As President Karzai put it to me only yesterday, they're country boys. Uh, and the plain fact is that they happen to live by a code of honour and a standard. We can't support the, the way that they treat women, we, we, surely. Well, I think you have to listen to what they're saying at the moment, and I think you have to listen to the facts on the ground. They're saying they, they are have definitely, to abide by they are Sharia definitely, law. Yeah, and I'm not saying that's anything that you and I would approve of particularly. I'm just but clarifying I do, that. I, absolutely, but I do think that they have changed. I think they recognise that over the course of the last 20 years, Afghanistan has evolved. Wait a minute. The head of the army, the one who can only be outranked by the queen, is he going to be called an apologist for the Taliban or Sharia law? <laughs> Yeah. Don't be so naive, yeah? He's not brown, okay? That's only reserved for people like me. No, that's a genuine. <laughs>
is essentially she is someone who has advocated for women's rights for years and she has been given assurance by representatives of Taliban that uh, women can continue doing their job. Okay, the Deutsche Welle report that women uh, are allegedly for uh, being forced to marriage with the Taliban. She says that it's all false. It's not true. Now, here you can also see that women in hijab are protesting against the Taliban. And just to add, this video is being shared by the feminists. But these are four women from the wealthiest part of Kabul, Wazir Akbar Khan and they protested against the Taliban and the Taliban came to provide security for the protesters. Now what's interesting here and this let this sink in yeah that if these very women were in France they looking like that with their hijabs would not be allowed to go into the schools yeah they wouldn't be allowed to be educated based upon what they're wearing and now in France they're trying to ban it even in the streets so standing there French officers would come and remove them. Let's move on to point number two. Yeah, there's a meme going around showing a CNN reporter saying this is how she was dressed before the Taliban. This is after the Taliban. This is what's going to happen to women, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and she's refuted this. And so has the Associated Press saying they've taken this out of context. Yeah, number three. There is no military path to uh, victory for the Taliban. What is not true is to say that the UK government uh, was unprepared or did not foresee this because uh, it was certainly part of our planning. As I said, everyone was caught um, uh, off guard by the pace scale of the Taliban takeover. This is not a case of, you know, we did not know this was going to happen. Was our intelligence really so poor? Was our understanding of the Afghan government so weak? Your own intelligence community has assessed that the Afghan government will likely collapse. That is not true. The likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. This did unfold more quickly than we had anticipated. Number four, the BBC claimed that Malala was shot by the Taliban. This is a lie. She was shot by a group called Tariq Taliban. Now, Tariq Taliban are a completely different group located in Pakistan. The only thing they share that's similar to the Afghani Taliban from Afghanistan are the name. Yeah, as you can see from this New York Times article, they are completely different. Yeah, academics know this. I consider Boris. No one's going to assume that the character Boris from Men in Black 3 is the Prime Minister of the UK. People understand Boris from movie, other Boris from somewhere. <laughs> God knows where he's from. Number five, this was very odd. Yeah, this is a discussion happening on CNN. So then there need to be girls schools which haven't actually been built yet. Ergo, these women don't end up getting educated. Hang on just a minute. The Taliban have only been in power for the last couple of days. Ergo, how on earth are they going to get schools built just like that? Number six, the media was quick to mention that the Afghan president ran away, but they failed to mention that he ran away with a helicopter filled with cash. Yes, that's right. Apparently three cars laden with cash were loaded onto the helicopter and because he had more cash left over, but he had to leave it behind and make a run for it. Ergo, what a true leader that was supported by the US who clearly cared about the Afghan people. Number seven, the takeover was actually very smooth. And as you can see, the Business Insider also reflects this and China's taking a dig at America saying it's more smoother than your transition of power. But the media, be it Al Jazeera, be it BBC, be it TRT, be, be it CNN, Regardless, yeah, they were all showing one thing on loop, which was the Afghanis clamoring onto the aeroplane. Yeah, which of course was distressing. It's messed up. It's not right. One needs to understand why. Yeah, with everything going on, why is that one thing being represented as the Taliban entering? Because for the last 20 years, the UK and US have messed up there. They've done nothing and they've left empty handed with their tail between their legs. Is this how the West's 20 year adventure, adventure, or adventure in Afghanistan will be remembered? These very brutal people and uh, 
it breaks my heart. And this is their last, last opportunity to say, oh look how much they miss us and they care about us that they want to come with us. Hang on just a minute, yeah? Firstly, we need to understand what on earth's going on, yeah? These are people who were promised, yeah? They were translators or people that were allies of the Afghan army and the UK and the US. These people know that they could be in problems afterwards, yeah? And they were promised that they could also go as well. And look, you can see that you have the people as they're leaving, they're taking their dogs with them. They've got space for the dogs, but they don't have space for the people that assisted them. Number eight, you had some news stations saying, given that the Taliban say that they don't want to uh, any uh, Afghans to leave the country. No, 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 no. It was agreed with the Taliban that they would not interfere with the airport, that would remain with the US. It's not about the Taliban saying that they're not allowing us to take them because that's inaccurate. That is absolutely inaccurate right now. From this story, we also deduce that news stations are getting lies about the Taliban and don't seem to be fact checking them. Number nine, we're not seeing Afghans returning back to Afghanistan. Yeah, we're just seeing people clamoring onto that plane. We saw hundreds of Afghans eager to cross that border and go back to their country. Most of the people that we spoke to over here are elated and jubilant with the fact that the Taliban are back in power. Number 10, when asked about press freedom, the Taliban said and pointed out the hypocrisy of Facebook, yeah? I can ask Facebook uh, company, this question should be asked to them. Who have panned the Taliban despite even the US not declaring them as a terrorist organization, but Facebook claims, no, nah, but we still think that they are, yeah? Now, if somebody else says, oh, look, I mean, th they are making sense. They say, oh, you're, you're Taliban sympathizer, you're a terrorist sympathizer, mate. But okay, okay, calm down, relax, relax. Donald Trump Jr. chimed in with this and he goes, you know what? <laughs> They're right about that. So you're gonna say now, it's okay, you know, he's not a terrorist sympathizer. Even though you got Trump himself saying, you know what, they're good at fighting, they've been fighting for a thousand years. And the Taliban, good fighters, I will tell you, they're good fighters, we have to give them credit for that. They've been fighting for a thousand years. Even though they've uh, only been established in the, uh, was it early 1990s? And it's also worth mentioning that the TV station the 24 hour news station in Afghanistan has been allowed to continue. The Taliban has featured on there as well and offered their support to their station as well. We were in uh, contact with them yesterday uh, with the spokesperson, with some of the military officials. They're actually quite efficient. And as a matter of fact, they also asked uh, if we needed protection inside the compound. In fact, there's a clip that you guys saw before I uploaded this video. It's the Taliban that have taken over a theme park and they're just enjoying themselves on bumper cars and going round and round on the teacup. It's hilarious, yeah? Even in the gym. Yeah, classic. I offered no commentary, I just put that up. Instagram took it down. TikTok took it down. I mean, what on earth is going on here? It seems like anything that is counter-narrative to Taliban are evil, they're gonna mess everything up, yeah, they're women's rights, terrorism. Unless you're saying that, mate, whoa, 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 no, 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 you can't. You can't give the other, there is no other side, mate. Yeah, free, so yeah, but it's freedom of speech, but it, it's not freedom of speech, yeah. I also want to add that things may get difficult for those with a balanced view on all of this, yeah, because it's in a lot of people's interests to see an unstable Afghanistan and for the Taliban to mess up, yeah. So false stories will emerge are emerging and certain people as you can see on the screen are being used to provoke the Taliban to get a reaction because all eyes are on Afghanistan. Yeah so being a brand guy I've got to say this again yeah Where, whoever it is yeah Boris from flipping MIB3, Biden, Imran Khan, Erdogan whoever it is yeah if they do good, we mentioned that they're doing good. If they do bad, they should be called out on it. Yeah, and we have to be honest with our coverage. Otherwise, it's, it's just messed up. You know what I'm saying? And that being said, even as Muslims, guys, yeah, we don't pin our belief and our religion on groups and countries and, and leaders. Yeah, let, let that be said because they are flawed. We pin our religion on the Quran and the Sunnah practices of the Prophet P. 
peace be upon him, the Hadith. So who knows? Yeah, we pray that the Afghan people have peace. And from what we're seeing, it's very optimistic. Yeah, but who knows what will happen? Only Allah knows. But we have the dua, the prayer that we pray where the people can finally live in peace. Let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.